today we start out with Mika Melatika. Uh, we're going to go through some posts that I saw on R. Nidhi Sanji that I wanted you guys to see because it's important to see some positivity come out of this whole situation. Some positive vibes happening here and there. And I don't want to be just, you know, someone that's doom posting, doom posting, doom posting. Some little positive things. Of course, I'm going to take jabs at a company who's doing horrible things to people. But I do want some positivity. So here we go. Right here, we have a little bit of information on Mika Militika, who uh, we are just talking about today. And she says, for those who don't know, she's an ex-liver and is currently on a vacation made publicly known with her friends Matara Khan, ex Niji liver Nina, Kuro, who used to be Mista, and Usan, who used to be Yugo. Uh, the trip seemed to have been really positive for her, hoping that she can get over her po her past negative experiences in VTubing. These past negative experiences were that she had mentioned that she felt uh, that she was being used to go to Luca or other people, you know, people that she knew more of and was closer to. Uh, the fact that people mistreated her for supposedly leaving ID, you know, Nidhi Sanji Indonesia to go for Nidhi Sanji in, uh, in Yen side because, you know, they were getting rid of the Indonesia branch and she was just moving towards there. People mistreated her for that. People, uh, she mentioned in, you know, her uh, post that we're going to be looking at real soon about how she felt like she didn't matter. Like she felt like she was, you know, pushed aside for more important people. Like she was used to get to more important people. And that is a recurring theme that you're going to be seeing with a lot of videos that are coming out about Niji Sanji and a lot of news that is coming out about Niji Sanji. Uh, it is basically, they were in no uncertain terms pretty much abused while they were there they were used up for all that they can get the benefit from and toss aside like just you know ragdolls or whatever that's never right in any kind of organization and i firmly dislike that and i firmly uh always mark that as something that i do not want and i do not strive for so we're going to take a look next at what she actually wrote and you know it's good to know that she had a really good time long somewhat positive rant after spending time with friends and making new ones I feel insanely blessed. They're so creative, kind, and ambitious. And for the first time in a while, I feel inspired to do something out of love and passion instead of fear and hurt. I'm so used to people treating me like I'm less than as a stepping stone to meet someone more popular and then ghosting me afterwards, which is actually a very horrible thing to say to do at let me just say that right now. Let me just give you my little opinion on this. Stand on my little soapbox, if you will. It is horrible to use someone else as a stepping stone if they're bigger than you. Or uh, someone that's in an organization that you, you know, you have an Oshi that's there. Don't use them as a, as a pawn, as a stepping piece, as whatever is being used here. Treat them as, you know, the individual that they are. That's one thing that I, that I find unfortunate about the situation. Um, I have times where people tell me uh, how nice someone is from my, but from my experience, they were quite condescending, so I'd only reply with, oh, what this means is that, yes, there were people who were extremely condescending to her. From what I'm taking, Mika Melatika, when she was in uh, Niji Sanji Ien, she was mistreated badly in the sense that people were condescending, people were using her for clout or whatever, and that's one of the reasons why she left herself. She graduated herself. She didn't end up becoming terminated. She was graduated. I chalked it up to it's just business. It is what it is. And I was okay with that. Or I mean, she said she's okay with that. I'm pretty sure she wasn't. Um, but over time, I subconsciously tend to put myself last on everybody's priority list, even on my own. I never knew how much that affected my mental health and confidence until recently. This trip, my friends were there for me. They aren't shy to admit they're my friends. And I always checked up on what I'm doing. They went above and beyond to take care of me when I'm sick, house me, feed me, meet me, even if I'm a nobody, they made me feel like I'm, I mattered. And these people who made her feel like she mattered are Matara Khan, which was Nina Kosaka, Mr. Rias, which is K9 Kuro, Onigiri, which is a person that is just an, a, a popular VTuber. So they treated her nicely, which is, you know, amazing to hear. I love hearing this type of stuff. I feel amazing. Like I realize I'm not a burden. I have people and friends that generally just love me for me. I'm so inspired and thankful and happy right now. I want to do things to make people around me proud and make friends proud. This will be a great year. So she is having positive things happen now with her. And here's a you know a couple of things that people mentioned. Here's a couple of facts. I started watching Niji because of a ghost, the ghost that immediately left. Anger, so much anger. At least Kamiguchi seems happy. That makes me feel good. And of course, she showed up to Kuro stream. There's the YouTube link for Kuro stream where she showed up as a 
a just person. We're gonna watch it real quick, right here, real quick, L right, a little how bit. How does this work? I just like put it on, bro. What? <laughs> Yo. Hello. Okay. That's her. Listen, bro. I That's Mika help, Militika. Okay? Yeah. What's up? So you know I'm doing my nails, right? No. Why? I, I, what do you mean? I messaged you about my nails. <laughs> and there we go. She showed up on his stream. She showed up uh, basically as a friend, as a person who is just there for her. Um, and that's great. It's always great to see that. It's always great to have people there for you in these moments of need. And I'm very happy that she has that. We have Nyaners and Aethel, I believe the name was, of people, two people who were going and doing their own thing. And uh, they are uh, VTubers, pretty pretty popular, way more popular than a lot of the you know smaller VTubers like myself. They're extremely popular and they were able to uh, kind of make fun of of the uh, Uki Violetta situation, which was a kind of big situation uh, where he was being, uh, let's say, discriminatory towards a specific race. And this discrimination in this specific race was uh, white people, pretty much. And they were making fun of him. It says, 2014 plan to show Vi Uki Violetta that white people can be kind of chill sometimes, too. This is the VOD that has the, what they were talking about specifically my about friends, him. My dude. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get rid of that. We'll do the rest of the mods real fast. Oh, uh, uh, whoops, that's wrong. Do not look at that. Uh, <laughs> do not look at that. Do not look at that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. This is still in the works, guys. This is not ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not ready yet. This is not ready. Take cooking classes ready. before, get that dancing is, lessons. Not that yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think there must be something. Not quite ready. That is something else. Something. That is something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. That is not a part of the stream. Yeah, yeah, men yeah. in black guys can we get a men in black on that <laughs> please what the get, get, that shit? get get men in black on that thing get full-on men in black on that thing that we, we we do not want we it's it's just it's out of my memory now it's been memory hold it's gone it's it's forever forever disappeared uh yes forever and ever everybody it is good news that i want to mention here doki bird got her first play button Let's take a look. She says, I can't believe it. My first YouTube play button that I own, which proves all the rats correct. The fact that they never got a play button, even if they were like 500K, 150K, 1 million, they would have never gotten their play button because Niji Sanji keeps them all. She says, thank you, Dragoons, for helping me accomplish this. Now let's try and get a million before the end of the year. And I think she will get it. And here's the YouTube play button in her house, inside the box. She called herself Doki Bird FPS VTuber FB TTV YT <laughs> for passing 100k subs. That's what she got. She put play, posted this on 8-15, 27th of February, 2024. And it's getting a ton of likes. And she says down here, I can't believe I made my first YouTube award in S post. They gave me too much power. So yes, they gave her too much power. They gave her the power to name herself to name it after whatever she wanted. And she decided, I'm gonna make this an S post and it's gonna be named, you know, Doki Bird, what was it? Doki Bird FPS VTuber Facebook TTV YT. There we go. <laughs> that is that is forever her play button. From now until she decides to get rid of this play button, that is the play button that she will have. You gotta love it. Only in this timeline will something like this exist. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Of course, comment down below if you so choose, if you want to get into the conversation and you know about how happy you are that she's doing well, any of that kind of stuff, I do appreciate it. As well as taking a look at my social media down below. And I appreciate, it. I appreciate if you take a look at that, as well as any video that you see in front of you, which I will post just to so you can get an idea of what else might be interesting for you. Have a wonderful evening. Like and subscribe, of course. And please enjoy your days. Bye-bye.